As more and more celebrities opt to leave social media in order to escape relentless criticism and, in extreme cases, threats, actress Kelly Marie Tran has opened up about her own experiences with Twitter toxicity. In a New York Times op-ed posted Tuesday, Tran, who endured horrific abuse from trolls simply because she is an Asian woman who appeared in a Star Wars film, writes about the toll the hatred took on her psyche. It wasn't their words, it's that I started to believe them, Tran began her piece. Their words seemed to confirm what growing up as a woman and a person of color already taught me, that I belonged in margins and spaces valid only as a minor character in their lives and stories. The actress chose to wipe all photos from her Instagram account and delete her Twitter account altogether in the wake of the online backlash. Their words reinforced a narrative I had heard my whole life, that I was other, that I didn't belong, that I wasn't good enough simply because I wasn't like them, Tran explained in the op-ed. And that feeling I realize now was and is shame. A shame for the things that made me different, a shame for the culture from which I came from. And to me, the most disappointing thing was that I felt it at all. Tran starters rose in Star Wars The Last Jedi, a casting choice that drew overwhelming support from some fans, yet overwhelming condemnation from many others. High profile support from the likes of Mark Hamill and director Ryan Johnson, who told the so-called fans to back off, did little to make Tran's online life easier. For Tran, the abuse aimed at her via social media ran far deeper than simply haters with an axe to grind over a franchise they feel belongs to them. I want to live in a world where children of color don't spend their entire adolescence wishing to be white, Tran wrote. I want to live in a world where women are not subjected to scrutiny for their appearance or their actions or their general existence. I want to live in a world where people of all races, religions, socioeconomic classes, sexual orientations, gender identities and abilities are seen as what they have always been human beings. The actress is one of many A-listers who have removed themselves from the breeding ground of vitriol that social media can be. Fellow Star Wars actress Daisy Ridley deleted her accounts after relentless abuse, Millie Bobby Brown from Stranger Things left Twitter after suffering endless harassment, and Ruby Rose followed suit recently after the internet imploded at the news of her historic casting as Batwoman for the CW. Meanwhile, Tran may have waved goodbye to social media, but her time in a galaxy far, far away is not yet over. The actress will appear as Rose once more in the upcoming untitled installment directed by J.J. Abrams. I know that I now belong to a small group of privileged people who get to tell stories for a living, stories that are seen and heard and digested by a world that for so long has only tasted one thing, she wrote. I know how important that is, and I am not giving up. You might know me as Kelly. I am the first woman of color to have a leading role in a Star Wars movie. I am the first Asian woman to appear on the cover of Vanity Fair. My real name is Lone, and I'm just getting started. To read more on this story, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.